All right, everybody. Well, the good news is we're going to see more sunshine here over the coming days. If you're in the West Metro, even in Minneapolis, we had sun on and off much of the day. But if you're in the East Metro, totally different story. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, just a very slow moving process. We'll get to why that's happening in a minute here. Uh, but first, we'll take a look at uh, some of the rainfall totals over the last 24 hours, which are pretty impressive. Uh, over two inches, uh, two to three inches in parts of the East Metro, where it has been raining still through the day today. So uh, definitely some impressive amounts there. Uh, and we'll show you the radar here, and it is still raining in many of those areas uh, in the southeast metro. Cottage Grove uh, into western Wisconsin, Hastings. Yeah, you guys have seen these showers on and off all day, and the uh, satellite imagery is pretty impressive, showing just exactly the same setup we basically had all day. You can see most of Hennepin County, uh, including the Minneapolis occasionally in the sun, but if you're in the western part of Hennepin County, further west outside of the 494, uh, it was sunshine much of the day today uh, but in the east metro you can see those textured clouds this is a visible satellite loop so uh, images from space just bubbling up showers and why yes that's the big question well we have this upper level low and if you've been watching these i know you have every day the last couple of weeks we've been talking about this bizarre may pattern where we've had multiple upper level lows that are stuck we call them cut off lows so you can kind of see that here uh, this one is based over oklahoma remember the one we had a couple of weeks ago that caused some very cold damp cloudy conditions for us was centered over us you don't want to be in the middle of it but even anywhere near it does affect the weather so this one's centered over oklahoma creating some severe weather there but it's also blocking the entire flow pattern if i take that particular particular overlay off here this is an upper level analysis showing the upper level low long story short and put on the surface streamlines i know this looks kind of busy but basically we have this front that is backed up because of that so see how the winds are moving in two different directions coming uh northeast out of north dakota towards the Twin Cities, basically. And then we have air coming up from Illinois, from the southeast, uh, even moisture feeding in a little bit from Tropical Storm Bertha, which we'll also talk more about, up towards Minnesota. And this is a collision course, creating this very narrow area of showers and clouds that we are still seeing here today. Now, that does move on. That's the good news. And in fact, tomorrow, uh, we should see clearing. Start the day with some clouds, but then sunshine breaks out. And then we're talking about lots of sunshine here heading into uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. But we're also talking about some cool conditions um, as well. Uh, so those temperatures maybe only 68 on Saturday and then warming up next week, still on track for some 80s and maybe the next ch chance of some thunder late in the day on Tuesday, but also wanted to talk about maybe some of you were paying attention to the SpaceX launch that was scrubbed. They're going to try again on Saturday, but this is a cool uh, imagery from NASA showing the clouds and lightning. Yeah, don't want to launch a rocket in that. Not worth the risk. But uh, as I did mention, we did have Tropical Storm Bertha today, which formed kind of surprisingly in the last 24 hours. We were watching a tropical disturbance, but uh, it, and it isn't uh, much of a threat other than a lot of rain. But what's, again, incredible, uh, just like the first storm we had, two named storms now, before the hurricane season even starts, and the Gulf of Mexico is primed. It is very warm. All that red and orange is showing warmer than normal uh, surface ocean temperatures and you do not want to see that already heading into hurricane season because it's not even summer yet we're adding more heat to the system doesn't mean guaranteed more hurricanes and stronger hurricanes but storms that do get going are going to have more fuel to work with so that is a bit of a problem and uh, of course we've been seeing some of these more powerful storms as a result of uh, a changing climate more ocean heat content so we'll see what happens but uh, again the official forecast uh, if you're with us uh, last week from NOAA is for more storms, named storms this season. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, be thankful we don't have hurricanes. We're looking at some nice weather. Just again, a little cool here heading into at least the start of the weekend before that heat builds.